Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And pretty good field position here. He's out of bounds right at the 35. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. O'Connell to throw right away. A short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Ball on the 39. Here's second down and seven. Now O'Connell. Catch is made by Hunter Renfro. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. On first and 10, it's O'Connell. And his throw here is incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Here's second and ten. Sticking to the air with O'Connell here. It's caught here by Adams. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 29-yard line. 14 yards is the pickup there at a Raider first. That early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met with the coaching staff, they kind of predicted that they would come out firing like this. I think you and I were a little skeptical that it'd be this easy. But they certainly knew what they were doing in scouting, in preparation, and understanding what their team was capable of. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. In today's NFL, you hear all the time about stretching the field and creating space in order to run plays. A toss play will help accomplish that because now you're pushing a defense to chase you all the way to the edges and to the sideline. That's a nice run, probing now early to try and get things done later. O'Connell working from the gun. This is intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. There he goes, left side. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. But just an excellent play there by the defense. And not only pick it, but take it back. Because Charles looked like they were in a groove passing the football. Several completions until that mistake. They certainly did appear to be locked in. And with how this offense is moving along, I know we certainly didn't expect to see a pick to end the series. Whatever the cause was, maybe they tipped one of those scripted plays. Maybe the defender just made a great read. And it has certainly quickly changed the tone of this one. Elliott good with a PAT. And it's now a 7 0 game. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. 
The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. A gain of nine yards. Once again, it's Jacobs, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Now it's O'Connell. They swing that out wide to Jacobs. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. I like this focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. And they go play action here with O'Connell. And quick throw here, that's complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 41-yard line. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 and a first down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. The Raiders with the football here to begin quarter number two, as they've got it with a first and ten. And now they'll shift things around. O'Connell on first and ten. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Well, this has been a good march down the field, but now they're stuck looking at a second and 14 to throw here. O'Connell. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Hunter Winfrey was the man he was looking for. And that takes us from second to third down. Need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They lost a big chunk, six yards there. It leads to fourth down. They'll go for it. O'Connell. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Eagles will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. And that was a young pup, the rookie being intercepted by a veteran DB. And I loved our quick conversation in pregame with him on the field where he said, hey, look, I love playing these young quarterbacks. They don't know a whole lot yet, so I can use my mind to put me in a position to make a play. On first and ten, it's Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. That coach is always hard on the quarterback reading the defense and getting into the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Hey, Silver, Silver, Silver. Ready? Here's Hurts to throw. That is caught. It's the tight end Goddard. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A game there of 30 big ones. Well, partner, that's how you make a long drive suddenly. Not 
so long anymore. One big play, and they're already in field goal range with designs on getting more than that. On first and ten, it's Swift. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. Fighting to stay upright. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Here's Swift. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Well, I know defensive coordinator is going to be pretty excited by what he just saw there. Great knockback by their front. And now with the ball where it is, I would expect to see the offense throw the ball on second and third down here. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. And Goddard's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Elliott now to add the extra point. And the kick makes it through, but flags come flying in as well. It appears we're going to get a roughing call tacked on. And that flag accepted. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. This taken in at the goal line. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. On the out route, this is Adams with a catch. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. An ideal beginning of the drive there is they'll get 20 and a first down. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. Throwing on second down. Here's O'Connell. Now a diving effort right sideline. He's got it. First down now, but the clock continues to move. 
O'Connell looking to throw yet again. He'll get this underneath to Jacobs. No gain on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Here's O'Connell. And it's complete to Adams. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 39. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. O'Connell looking to throw on first. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Second and ten. To the air again with O'Connell. That's caught. It's DeAndre Carter. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Throwing O'Connell. And that's complete to Adams. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. And now they're in the hurry up. It's a game of 10. First down, Raiders. The final shot before break. O'Connell. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Carlson able to put this one through, and that will do it for this first half. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Ready for the second half. 14 to 3 our score as we are back underway on EA Sports. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Now Hurts changing up the play. Hurts throw here taken in as he's able to find Goddard. He'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second down, here's Hurts. He delivers another to Goddard, complete. And take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. He had the touchdown on the opening drive. Now he's got a first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. But first down, Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. Not a big win.
window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. They'll come up on a second and four now from the 40-yard line. Hurts. And incomplete on the deep ball. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Hurts sets up to throw it. He's going to look deep for Watkins. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Trayvon Merrig. And the Raiders are going to get the football here at their own 23. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. And they just got a little help from their defense forcing the turnover. Now can they make that pay off in points? They need to, partner. They're down on the scoreboard. Need to take advantage of those opportunities. And this is a good one right in front of them. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start. Here's another first and 10. Play action. Now Connell. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And he'll push forward for a couple to the 34. Well, it's not time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now O'Connell. A hit as he throws there incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point of the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. Well, the offense failed earlier on the previous crack at this, but they're going again on fourth down. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. What a real head scratcher there. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Throwing his hurts. And this is caught inside the five. Give him 32 on the play. Another big play right there. And this is where, as an offense, you can really put the hammer down. You've got a double-digit lead, but those other guys, they've been hanging around. A touchdown here could put this game out of reach. And that's a strong step towards getting it done. Swift. Is in the end zone for an even touchdown. So remember that this was all set up by the stop defensively on fourth down. That's what got him this great field position. And then two plays later, they're already in the end zone. Yeah, partner, funny how it works like that, huh? That's a momentum swing amusement park style. Your defense comes off the field, bouncing, grooving, they're fired up, and it carries over to the other side of the ball. Elliott good on the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. Here 
Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. And O'Connell now to throw. That's caught by Myers. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 down at the 33. Jacobs going to try the middle. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Second and five. That's caught left side, Myers with it. So no gain on the play. And it brings up third and five now. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Now they'll change things up. Here's O'Connell looking to throw it. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Fakes the handoff. Now O'Connell to throw. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure, and it's a loss of six. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Back to throw, O'Connell. Pass taken in by Mayer. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Jacobs fighting, but he won't get too far. Maybe a yard, that's all, down to the two. From the two now, second and goal. To throw here, O'Connell. And that's going to be caught for a Raider touchdown. Devontae Adams, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Raiders are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Well, they needed three scores to have any chance. There's the first of the three as they get into the end zone. Yeah, Brandon, I think that our guys at Next Gen Stats in charge of the win probability are probably yeah, saying your chances on. still aren't great. But now, you still got more than three minutes to go. You got to focus on the task at hand, which is going to be getting the football back as quickly as possible. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And it makes the score 21 to 10. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And they've got it. They recovered it. Wait, hang on now, though. There's a penalty flag down. Well, CD, you understand. I mean, they're so eager trying to get back in this game here in the fourth quarter, but they touched that one a little too early before it went 10 yards. Brandon, in such a high-stakes scenario, Everyone's feeling the pressure on this play. The special teams coordinator, which one is he going to pick in terms of kicks? Can the kicker execute it? Can the team wait for 10 yards? So many variables, and in this case, they didn't get it done. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 25 yards that time. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. On first and ten, it's Hurts. Open man has got it, the tight end. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and it's second down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Whistles now in a timeout defensively. So a wise move as they'll use the first of their timeouts to force one more play before the two-minute warning. Now second and three. A 
handoff. Swift running to the left. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Going for the knockout punch. They'll try and run. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. But down here near the goal line, you don't think of a cornerback in run coverage, but he made the stop. Yeah, most of the cornerbacks we know, they want to be those pass defenders and take away one half of the field. But the best ones in the game are the complete cornerbacks able to tackle and run support, as we just saw there. On second down, Swift. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here. Not even a thought, yeah, is it? Defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. And I guess not content to get another three here late. They'll try to add six more as they go on fourth and goal. Here's Hurts to throw. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And the Raider D, they get the football back. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. And they'll just simply be looking to... And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by James Bradbury, and he'll take this back down inside the 20. For this defense, CD, that's kind of the icing on the cake here as we get to the end of this one. And didn't you feel that they weren't just going into total prevent there? You know, they had the lead, and sometimes you fall back and you lose your aggressiveness. Not in this case. They were still making a play on the football, and look how that one turned out. They may have salted this one away. And Goddard's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. A great effort there. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Eagles have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. I suppose it wasn't out of the realm of possibility that we could have seen a comeback, but that touchdown should put any hopes of a comeback out of reach. It's been a really quality effort for him here in this one. And no matter what else you think, you have to admire the initiative to finish things off their way. Don't leave anything to chance to matter how small the odds of a comeback were. Send it home with a touchdown and get to celebrating. they couldn't get it and I know we brought analytics into the game and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick 80% of the time the team expecting it they do actually recover the ball which is what they saw here I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number kind of like when the coaches tell us well when you score on special teams 93% of the time you win the game I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical and they go play action here with O'Connell. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Eagles are going to get the football here at their own 20.